Hey guys, and welcome back to another travel vlog. I have come to Venice with Jess for a little like Italian adventure. So we're here over the weekend, it's now Friday, and we're here till Monday. And then on Monday we head over to the Amalfi Coast. We're basically doing a little press trip with the Vespa trip. So we're traveling along the Amalfi Coast on Vespa's kind of town hopping each day, going to a different place. But we thought we'd kind of extend the trip to Venice as well, because I've never been, Jess has never been. It's definitely someone which has always been on my bucket list. The weather today is absolutely amazing. It's like 32 degrees. It's a little too hot, but it's now at 6 p.m. We got here this morning, had a quick shower, had a sleep, got some food, and back out. But I thought I'd start the vlog now. So yeah, we're gonna go get some dinner, go maybe shoot a few pictures and see what Venice has to offer. Jessica, what's your favourite part about Venice? Um, the Aperol, and it's cheap. Not being with me? Um, not spending time with Sam. No, it's fun spending time with you, but I live with you anyway, so... No, you don't. Who are you? I didn't meet you at the airport. No, it is fun. Um, we have a good time together. We like travelling together. We have arguments taking pictures, but other than that, we're fine. <laughs> Good morning from day two here in Venice. It's very early, we got up about 5.45 I think we set the alarm for. But basically we've got up because we wanted to kind of get a few pictures at the Rialto Bridge behind us here. It's actually a five minute walk from the hotel. So I thought we'd quickly get ready, head out, shoot a few pictures just whilst it's empty. So that way we can kind of enjoy the rest of the day, not have to worry about resting tourists for a nice little shot. But also, we did have a really good night's sleep. It's absolutely boiling so we kind of pushed the bed right under the aircon, just so that way it was blown directly on us. But after that we did manage to get some sleep. But it's already really warm. How gorgeous is this view like I actually love it here I know I say that for everywhere we go but everywhere I go it keeps like surprising me more and more but yeah I'm really looking forward to kind of having a whole uh, our first full day here um yeah I need coffee Shooting kind of on the opposite side of the Rialto Bridge. This is where we were staying over this side. Walked across, and there's this tiny little bit which you'll see all over Pinterest and Instagram. Basically, it's got the typical little moorings for the boats there, but it's still, I think, only about quarter past seven or oh, half seven, and it's still empty. I don't know whether it's just because it's a weekend or not, but if you're kind of wanting to get really nice shots, we literally got everything to ourselves. It's completely empty here. It's a private little pier, and there's not many people on the bridge either. So, if you want to get a nice little shot of Venice kind of and the Rialto Bridge, just stick somewhere I recommend. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth getting up early as well because it's a nightmare otherwise. Like, yesterday, there was a queue of people. There's Jess. There's literally a queue of people down this side waiting to get pictures, which I don't want to wait in 32 degree heat just to get an Instagram shot. It's just worth getting up early, and then we can go and have breakfast after. Today and then tomorrow. So there's a few other places we want to check out. 
um, it's kind of like a hop on and off service and they've got it down the, kind of the Grand Canal and a few other areas as well. Um, but yeah, it's not as hot today either. The winds are up, which is really, really nice because that way, I don't even know if you can hear me, um, but that way we're not going to be dying of heat like we were yesterday. Burano and it is absolutely picturesque. Like it literally looks like a postcard. It's gorgeous. But basically, it's really famous here for the really colourful houses, and it is against the law to have the same kind of house as your neighbour. Which is a really interesting fact that every single house is so so beautiful, and it's just so nice. Like the canals are a really really bright shade of green as well, um, instead of like the blue like everything else is green. But I think we're gonna get some food, have a look around a few of the shops, maybe get a few pictures. But it is very very hot, so I don't think we're gonna kind of sit in the sun for too long. But it is so so beautiful, and the ferry took us about a ten an hour to get here which isn't too bad and it was quite cool on board but yes yeah, so we got that with our pass like I said earlier on so we had to change the ferry halfway along and then we got on another one to get here but that was a pretty another three day travel pass type thing which is a really really good value for money considering how far it's taken us but yeah we're gonna go for a wonder have a look in the shops and maybe buy something as well to take back home so we've now sat down for lunch somewhere and it is very very hot so I'm glad we're kind of out of the sun and in the shade a little bit we've got loads and loads of water we've just got our food I basically went for like a seafood pizza which is one of my favourite things and it looks insane and then Jess has gone for, I don't even know what it is, but she's literally living her best life. Ali Oli Oli. Ali Oli. Garlic. It's basically garlic and chilli. But it looks very, so, very, so very nice. Good. I think it might be a tiny little bit of cheese it's on there. It's very olivey. No, there's not. Is there not garlic. at all? It's like garlic puree. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, and then they've given us like bread. I've got, I've got a beer. Jess went for apple spritz, obviously. Yeah. Cheese. And I am in food heaven yet again. So it's time for dinner now, we get some nice things, and then maybe walk along one of the canals, get some ice cream, or gelato, and then kind of see where the evening takes us. So it's another very early start for us today. Even though it's Sunday, but we've come to the Bridge of Sighs and St. Mark's Square to get a few pictures and to avoid the crowds. Yesterday it was absolutely rammed down here when we kind of came down to get the ferry to go over to so we were like, we'll come down early, get breakfast and coffee after. I'm definitely gonna need a coffee again. But we're here, it is so gorgeous, and the sun's already really, really warm. I feel all I've done is moan about how hot it is, but I think when you're on a city break, like, the heat does take it out of you. But it's so nice to actually see it when it's not crowded with people and kind of, yeah, blocked by millions of tourists. It's gonna get a few pictures and then go off and explore the rest of the day. And the plan is to get a gondola today as well, because I feel you can't come to Venice and not get one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. kind of opposite the other side to the Rio I keep saying the Rialto. The bridge of size is there and kind of the main bridge is the other side. We're gonna go back to shoot there now, but we thought we'd try the bridge on the opposite side just because it's a bit quieter and it offers a few other views as well. She got some gondolas down here. 
nice little bridge for some pictures and you do kind of get that in the background which is quite nice um but yeah we're gonna head back around to the other side and we didn't check but st mark's square had a concert last night so there's scaffolding everywhere rubbish everywhere so we're like great can't get a picture for the ground but it's still gorgeous if you look up don't look at the ground because there's stuff everywhere but apart from that it's really really pretty and it's nice to just be here and experience the city before it gets absolutely manic again which will probably happen in like an hour or two <laughs> It was only 80 euros for the half hour for both of us. So basically you pay 80 euros and you get the whole boat. So between us it's like 40 euros each, which I think Jess said in her bubble it's about 35 euros, which pounds. It, 35 pounds each. Um, which obviously if you're coming to Venice it is something you kind of should and you need to do because it's, it's iconic. But the guy who kind of took us around had loads of little interesting facts about Venice and kind of told us um, a lot about the route we went on which was really cool as well. And it was nice to kind of get off the main canal and see the little side ones and kind of see a few buildings which you haven't seen yet as well. We're currently sat having lunch obviously by the river canal again um, and then we're out to the bridge is just opposite so we're kind of on the opposite side of where we had lunch the other day but it's obviously time for more Aperol and pizza because why not? Obviously when you're on a TV you have to get ice cream so we're getting a second lot um, so we have seen this place you've probably seen it all over Instagram as well I think it's Suso um, and yeah it's literally one of the most famous ice cream shops here in Venice. So we're gonna get some because it's just around the corner of the hotel. We wanted where it was. We were like, oh, let's take a little walk, go find it. Look, Tom Max is literally around the corner. It's taken us like 30 seconds to get here. So we're gonna get some, sit in the sun, and enjoy our last afternoon here in Venice. As you can see, the queues are quite long. So if you're in a rush, probably not the best place to come. But I mean, if the queues are long, it's got to be good, right? So this is the monster that I started, decided to create. So you've got a pistachio on the bottom, watermelon, and then sugar lemon cookie on the top there. So I didn't get to show you the ice cream that I bought because literally the second we walked out the door, it was like a waterfall. I don't know what they do to it, but in the shop it was like perfectly formed. I got outside, managed to get like one picture um, on my iPhone really quick, but it was literally running down my hand. Like it was like a waterfall. It's all over my jeans, all over my boots, like half of it put on the floor. Like the second we stepped outside, I was like, this is crazy. That's how hot it is here. Hence you can see I'm a bit shiny and a bit glistening. But we've just sat in the shade by the canal, um, by this really side little canal. We literally had a little wonder. I don't, I don't have any idea where we are at all. Um, but yeah, had a little wonder. Sat and had some more water and a coke in the shade because it's still very warm. And I definitely have a moment a little bit too much about how warm it is. But I feel when you're in a city and it's like 32, 32 degrees, it's very, very hot. Especially when you're not used to it. But I feel when you're in a city and it's 33 degrees, it's a little bit too hot because there's no beach, there's no swimming pool. And in Venice, there aren't really that many open like outdoor spaces that you can kind of sit and relax in the shade. I wouldn't mind if I could sunbathe in a pair of shorts or whatever. But if when you're clothed in a city, it's a little bit different to kind of being somewhere with a bit of breeze and a bit of outdoor space. But it is really, really gorgeous here. I love it. I actually don't really want to leave here. And it doesn't feel like we're going off to Amalfi tomorrow, which will be another vlog all completely. Um, just because I kind of feel it would be nice to split it up. But yeah, um, I'm loving Italy. The food is amazing. I've had, I think, four pizzas, three lots of pasta, countless amounts of ice cream and Aperol spritz. But that's what you do when you're here. We've just got to shoot this outfit for a brand because... I've left it to the last minute, but I found a really nice little, little church. I think this might be quite nice. It's very overexposed, but with the sun coming through, I think it'll look really nice just to kind of break the feet up a little bit as well. Naples today 
for the Little Amalfi Vespa trip. So we're gonna spend the rest of today there before getting our Vespas tomorrow and heading out and around on the Amalfi Coast. But yeah, it's actually really beautiful this time of day around here. Um, it's very, very quiet, but yeah, we're still on our way to the airport. So I think I'll finish the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog.